first, our top story tonight. Good evening. South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem says that the United States is under attack, experiencing what she and other governors call an invasion. The governor addressed state lawmakers this afternoon about what she's seen at the border between the U.S. and Mexico. Kelly Lynn Stancentella attended today's joint session and joins us live in Pierre with the first part of our team coverage. Bridget, the governor, a staunch ally of GOP frontrunner and former President Donald Trump, as well as a vocal critic of President Trump, excuse me, President Joe Biden, told South Dakota lawmakers this afternoon here behind me in the House of Representatives that the state she leads is, quote, directly impacted by events at the border. Governor Kristi Noem told lawmakers the country is threatened. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the United States of America is in a time of invasion. The invasion is coming over our southern border. The 50 states have a common enemy, and that enemy is the Mexican drug cartels. They are waging war against our nation. And the governor says state leaders are looking at ways to support Texas. South Dakota is directly affected by this invasion. We are affected by cartel presence right here on our tribal reservations by the spread of drugs and human trafficking throughout our communities. Representative Puri Puyer, a Democrat who represents the Pine Ridge Reservation in the state legislature, says the border does deserve lawmakers' time. I appreciate the governor bringing our attention to the seriousness and the deteriorating conditions at the southern border. But Puyer, who is a member of the Oglala Sioux Tribe, strongly objects to how the governor framed the issue. I am Oglala Lakota, and I am from Pine Ridge. And for her to use such a difficult problem that everybody struggles with daily to further her national ambitions is disingenuous, and it's insulting. She only sees us when it benefits her. One segment of the governor's address particularly frustrated Puyer. It's centered on Pine Ridge. Murders are being committed by cartel members on the Pine Ridge Reservation and in Rapid City. And a gang called the Ghost Dancers are affiliated with these cartels. They have been successful in recruiting tribal members to join their criminal activity. To say to the world that we have a gang called the Ghost Dancers that are in with the cartel in Pine Ridge is highly disrespectful. It's disrespectful to our beliefs, our spiritual traditions. Now, shortly after the governor's address, about 30 minutes, the House of Representatives here took up a resolution that deals with protecting the southern border. That passed along party lines. It also passed along party lines in the Senate. Reporting live in Pierre, Dan Centella, Kelly and News.